Or do I accuse her? Hmm. Because right down here we've got the guy who's in charge of the entire armada. Let's see what he Bien says. Vanilla. What is it that you need to... The invincible um. Spanish armada. She is the greatest... In truth, the invin... The inhabitants of the English... Are in uh, truth, da, 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 the Inquisition da, da, da. gave me... I am the Duke of Medina Sidonia. Captain... No, it, there's until nothing we really else there. Not yet, anyway. Right. It's on to talk to the evil bitch Captain of Doom. Who stabs you in the back. Quite literally. Let's see if she has anything to say for herself. Because if she doesn't, we'll just have to go back to the little ghost. Hello again. How can I help you? Haha. -ha. I encountered the ghost of Captain Morales by the coastline. Impossible! Captain Morales is dead! What you say is ludicrous! I must insist that you leave my ship immediately. Hello again. I spoke How can with I help witnesses. You? I believe you killed Captain Morales. So, you must think me to be a cold-blooded killer. But do you wish to hear why a woman would murder? Or has your mind already judged me? Uh, we'll listen to you. You will hear the truth, then. For the past two years, I have pretended to be Captain Isabella of Espana. My true name is Grace O'Malley, Captain of the Irish fleet survived from the sunken Isle of Ireland. Ireland sunk in this fucking alternate history? Who the hell sunk our country? Those bastards. Why did you pretend to be a Spanish captain? Long have the Irish, Scottish, and other Celtic tribes suffered under the rule of England's navy. They took away our islands and forced my proud people to live like pirates. We have waited for too long for Spain to intervene and tame England's navy. I became Isabella to help convince Spain to enter war with England. You must surrender yourself and let justice decide your fate. I will not be judged by Spanish law. I answer to a higher calling. The next time you attempt to cross my path, there will be blood. Ooh. She's gone. Right. Right, I'm just gonna go report her to, to the Duke of Medina. He can deal with her. That way, my hands are clean. Until, I don't know, maybe I have to fight her eventually and kill her then, I don't know. We'll see. Bienvenida. What is it that you need to ask? Captain Isabella killed Captain Morales. This is a serious charge against a seasoned officer. I must admit I am extremely doubtful that what you say is truthful. Captain Isabella is a skilled warrior and a well-respected commander. Due to the seriousness of the charge, I will investigate discreetly. Of course, I will need to speak with your witness and investigate this matter immediately. The horned sailor is the witness. I know of whom you speak. If you saw his horns, you must be perceptive. Perhaps you do know something. I will speak with this sailor to hear his account with my own ears. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. If Captain Isabella is guilty, she will be punished. The sailor you mentioned confirmed your accusation. I sent guards to question Captain Isabella further, but she has disappeared. No doubt she heard of your investigations. We will pursue her so that she will pay for her crime. Thank you for bringing this to light. I have a small reward for your efforts. A reward would be most kind. Ooh, 150 gold and some experience. And now I still have to go tell the corpse on the beach. Well, it's not really a corpse, it's a floating torso ghost. 
Either way, we'll do that in a bit, and that'll give us a bit more experience. Right now, let's just go to the Templar captain and say, Hey, dude, give us a job. Or whatever the hell, you know, ancient Spanish people said when they wanted work. We'll see what he has to say, because we did all the little errands for Esteban. I think we've proved ourselves. We even cleared out the sewers to, you know, a certain extent. Yes, we do still have to kill a few lava trolls, but that can be done in time. We still have to clear out the entire area just outside Barcelona as well. So, we have a long road ahead of us there. And that's not even mentioning the long road out of Barcelona. Which is long and arduous indeed. Did I mention that things in this take a long time to do? I'm not sure if I did. If I didn't, uh, you know, takes a fucking long time. I think how how many hours are we into this playthrough already? Like six, seven, possibly more. And we still <laughs> just barely got around the outside of the fucking city. It's unreal. Still, at least we're a little bit closer to becoming a Templar. Um, I can't remember what kind of bonuses that gives us. But I think we get to go into this uh, little room down here as well. After a bit. Welcome back, Traveller. How can I be of service today? I have completed Esteban's quests. Your progress is most impressive. For your next task, you will need to speak with Sir Auric. He seems Okey one of our patrols has failed to report back. Speak with Auric to find out what is going on, then return here when you have done as he has asked. I'll go speak with him now. Good fortune to you. So what we got? 210 experience for that. For Esteban's quests. Right. Uh, it's okay, I guess. I mean, we got something. Now, Sir Orc was in the building over here, I think. The arsenal. Let's see what he has to say to us. And in we go. Hello, Welcome Sir Orc. back, young one. How can this knight serve you? Lord Javier sent me here to get my next initiation quest. The path to knighthood is not an easy one, but I sense that you have the strength and nobility to succeed. If you are indeed ready, I have an important task for you. Yeah, come on, give One me. of our fellow knights went into the sewers yesterday looking for a lost boy. He has failed to report in. I would like you to enter the sewers and investigate. Return with news when you have it. Oh, well, I did that. He wasn't dead, but he is now. Thank you for investigating. <laughs> While his death is a tragedy, he died with valor in the pursuit of his duty. There is your reward for your efforts. What else can I do for you? Uh, Until nothing. next week. I'm not even going to mention the fact that we had teamed up to fight the evil creatures in there and I accidentally hit him in the heat of battle and he went nuts at me so I had to put him down. You know, th those are the kind of things you tend to keep to yourself in a situation like that. Does that make me a cruel and possibly evil, twisted individual? I don't think so. Though it probably does. Oh well. Let's see. Welcome back, traveler. How I can did I his quest. Well done, young one. You show great promise. For your next task, you will create your own lion shield, a symbol of honor and commitment to the Knights Templar. To forge the lion shield, seek out Eduardo the blacksmith. He will be able to fashion it for you, or at the least, tell you what he needs to make it. Once you have your shield, return here and we will speak more. Good fortune to you. Okay. 
Notice how he said, Eduardo will tell me what he needs? Yeah. Nothing is ever quite as simple as just go somewhere and you will get free shit. Well, sometimes it is, but very rarely, especially in this. Unless you, you know, accidentally fulfill a quest on the side without even realizing it. Which I think we've done a couple of times now. Including that uh, Templar in the sewers who died of natural causes. I'm pretty sure you can count a sword to the face a natural cause. It's only natural that when you get a sword to the face you're gonna die, so yeah, natural causes. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right, you send me Welcome on another back pointless to quest. Welcome Eduardo's blacksmith. Oh, see, see, you've come to the right place. But what you ask, my friend, is no easy task. Fashioning a lion shield, it is more than simply pounding hot metal upon the anvil. It requires a test of valor, of bravery on the part of the owner to give the shield its strength, its spiritual center. Test of bravery? Like what? It so happens I have just the task. A filthy beggar named Felnash. May all the devils in hell dog his steps until his dying day. Has stolen a sword from me. A sword fashioned by my father, no less. The coward has fled into the sewers, no doubt in fear of the beating he would receive at my hands. I would go after the honorless dog myself, but... Alas, my work demands that I remain here, slave to the anvil and iron. Will you do it? It is a fair task, and one worthy of your strength. It shows your devotion to justice, proves your bravery, and it will allow my father's spirit to finally rest easily in his grave to know that his sword has been returned to his son. Just gonna quick save because I wanna say this. But if it is your father's sword, the task of valor should fall upon you, since you'll be the one forging the lion's shield. If you cannot prove yourself, then won't your weakness be present in the shield? Uh, <laughs> see, what was I thinking? You are right. The customer is always right. Perhaps I could uh, pay you for your valuable service in retrieving the blade, in addition to making you the item you requested, no? Hmm. Very well. Let us forget I said anything of the retrieval of the sword. Nothing would make my father sleep easy within his grave anyway. But uh, now that I have given the matter some thought, there is a complication. A small one to be sure, but... But? Unfortunately, I have all the materials I need except for uh, a deposit of magnetized silver. I know it is much to ask, but I will need you to get some for me. And where can I find some magnetized silver? Well, normally I would obtain the silver from my suppliers, but even if I explained your need, even if I called in every favor I had, my suppliers could do nothing. Apparently there is a small matter of uh, some goblins investing the cave where the ore is mined. Hmm, not sure where the cave is exactly, somewhere north of the crossroads. My suppliers claim the creatures are trying to artificially drive up the price of magnetized silver. <laughs> Criminal! It pains me to say that if you want your item finished, you'll have to deal with them yourself. Very well. I'll go kill them. Gracias, gracias. And pay no heed to the rumors of the goblin's strength and ferocity. That is nothing more than the talk of idiots in the street. I doubt they are a little more fearsome than some of the shopkeepers around here. I'm sure the creatures only kill those miners by surprise. Being prepared, you should fare much better against them. Yes, I'm sure I will. <sighs> I'm sure I will when I eventually go and do your stupid fetching quest. I mean, seriously, can nobody in these games go and fucking get anything for themselves. I don't know. Right, well, I'm not gonna 
bother doing that yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head down and tell Captain Morales what happened. And we'll call the set there. And we'll leave that, you know, cave full of goblins for the next time. And that chest full of whatever it might hold, maybe. Depends if I want to become a master thief to get it. How much experience do I need? Yeah, probably won't get anywhere near enough to level up off this quest, but maybe in the next set, well, yes, definitely in the next set, but hopefully early on in the next set, I'll get that next level. And I don't really think there's much point in putting anything extra into lockpick at this stage. So I may require uh, it may require getting a uh, Master Thievery potion in order to get whatever's in that chest. Now, Morales, how are you doing? Come on. You return! Have you discovered the identity of my murderer? It was Isabella. She killed you to become captain of your ship. Then it is as I suspected. That wench! I knew I should have been more careful around her. Her ambitions apparently know no bounds. At least I can finally pass. You have my gratitude. I will show you a buried treasure I discovered while haunting this shore. Search the ground near the boat's prow carefully. There we go. Sweet! I found a hidden treasure. Got some gold some spirit elixirs, some extra healing, and bracers of archery. Six skill points as opposed to twenty skill points. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'd be using these rather than those ones. Either way, we got what we came for here. We are a lot closer to the next level, so when we come back, we'll go up to the top of the crossroads and fight some goblins in a cave. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.